almost CSS felt good there, but I think that cutscene, like if you start pausing too early, it just doesn't work. Uh, that was also a landslide day where you had to go to your local state from your local station to Reading to Clapham Junction after the train was from Virginia Water was cancelled literally five minutes before you were due to change to Surbiton. Oh, fun, very fun. Yeah, that's uh not nice. <laughs> Tell you what, taking the tube around London on Sunday was so bad. Like, it was basically kind of night tube uh, days, which is just weird. Um, way back wasn't so bad because you went to Kingston, Kingston, Twickenham, Reading, local station. That's not too bad. But yeah, no, su Sunday was really weird because, like, the trains into London were absolutely fine. But then in London, part of the Jubilee line was shut, part of the Metropolitan line was shut, part of the Northern line was shut, the Piccadilly line had severe delays on it. Uh, Victoria line was fine, Central line was doing its own thing, probably District had some problems as well. It was a really weird day on Sunday. Um... <laughs> So we basically had to make our way around London on just the Jubilee, the part of the Jubilee that was working, and the Victorian line, which was not the most fun. The Underground is ever fully on good service. No, it isn't. Yeah, I guess. There's always something going on. But like, usually it's alright. But, nah. They said no. Get on that now if you is if you're heading to Stratford. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a massive difference, like, between the old and the new lines. Um get to Waterloo, so Jubilee's most direct. Uh, yeah, I guess it would be. That was a really poor first run, I can't lie. And we duped studs, let's go, just what I want. I think the worst line for me is like the central line and stuff. I hate, I hate the central line. It's just, eh. Like at least with the Jubilee line, when you're going from kind of Green Park onwards, uh, going eastwards, you're like, Okay, you're at the nice stations, because you go through kind of like Canada Water, Canary Wharf, Ota Arena, those kind of stops to get to Stratford, whereas uh, other lines just take you through kind of the, the bins of underground central London. Yo, T-Fresh, how you doing, my, my dude? Good to see you. Hope you are doing well. And Seed with the Raid. Hello again. How did the uh, any percent go? Thank you, thank you. Crashed hard lock each run? Oh no. Is that the same hard lock you were having problems with a while ago? Or is it a different one? 1-2... One okay, 1-2 heckin' troll. I can do that. definitely change that. No more time today, yeah that makes sense. 
Why did I jump so early? Five oh six entry. Okay, we're actually only like I mean this is still a thirty five, I think. But that's fine. I'd like there's something weird that you can avoid, but the crash that you thought you knew how to avoid happened again. Oh, right. So it's not skipping the cutscene too quickly. Cutscene late and it didn't crash immediately, but skip uh, crash like 20 seconds after. That's really weird. Might have been a random crash. Yeah, I guess. It's kind of difficult to tell sometimes. Yeah, okay, this will be a 20, a 35. That's fine. I'm actually being like even with PB. Almost exactly, like three thousand or three hundredths of a second slower or something. Yo, Chimkin, thank you for the good luck. Good luck. Hope you are doing well. Yeah. For those of you that just joined, um, we did have one semi-decent run going, but then, uh, what happened? Oh, uh, we, uh, failed 1-4 CSS. I think I started pausing too far away. Sub is now 4 minutes quicker than PB's, though, so if you just get a run that doesn't die to something weird, you can get, like, a 1-12, 1 That's fair. Enough about my own good luck on this, thanks. Now, we've, we've still got time in these uh, cutscenes to talk about your stuff. <laughs> Let's face it, year one, only part of year one is just all the cutscenes. Malfoy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it is gaming time. Oh, 217 entry, that's what we want to see. Yeah, so I think there's a certain number of frames you can pause away from 1-4 uh, CSS. Or like start doing the buffering away from 1-4 CSS. I think it's like that and... There's probably a couple others that are like that as well, which is a bit weird in that respect, but whatever. I know 2-6 isn't, 2-3 isn't, but they're on timers to finish, whereas 1-4 um, uh, and 3-3 three, three are 
like timers and proximity based. It's kind of weird. Difficult to explain as well. Three twenty ent entry. I think that's really good. I can't remember. I I remember I used to get like three twenty ones. I think so. That took a while. But the statue building was pretty clean, so we're going to be, I think, saving a little bit here. Actually, no, we're losing a bit. Wow. I guess that's uh, quite harsh, like... To be fair, my PB does have a rather good year one. Yes, game. Oh, you're so fun. That's a bit annoying. We're going to be losing a good few seconds here. I'll switch comparison over to latest. Because especially with the new stuff, uh, latest is a much more representative year one. Settled. I think we should be good. better. Much better versus last run. Thought I was going to fall down there, but we're good. is we can get away with a lot of time losses and still be like on 225 pace but this run that I'm comparing against was 25 seconds ahead of PB after 3-2 so I want to get that again basically 
with 3 2 CSS as well. Really, no early aggro. Oh no, that's way too close. Never mind. That was me being bad. Yo, Matt. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I've only done one run so far. It uh, died on 4 4 CSS. Not 4 4, 1 4 CSS. So it's uh, not too bad. I'm just hoping this run gets through 1-4 uh, CSS and then we'll go from there, really. How are you doing? Okay, so we're, like, tying latest here. Which is a shame, but, like, I'm not surprised. Being injury ridden? Oh no. I'm sorry to hear that. That's not good. Hopefully you're not out for too long. <laughs> Yo, we saved point six, let's go. Oh, you do rock climbing. No way, me too. That's pretty cool. What was it? Uh, indoor bouldering or indoor climbing or do you go outdoors? Yeah, no, I know the feeling of uh, hands being absolutely shredded from bouldering. I've, uh, I think I've got to the point with climbing though, where like, my hands have just built up a resistance to it. You do indoor bouldering? That's sick. I climb? Yeah, I, I do uh, indoor bouldering as well. I've like climbed outside a couple times. I want to do a bit more, but uh, the weather's nowhere near good enough at the moment. So maybe when it gets into the summer, I'll end up going uh, outside with uh, mates a couple times. But yeah, no, I really enjoy it. I mean, I'm not, like, good, but uh, it's, it's just fun. Climbing, like, once a week at the moment. Couple tunnel nerves from typing on a computer for hours a day. Yeah. See, I feel like I would get something like that, but I think I've been climbing enough that, like, the nerves in my fingers are probably kind of just shredded now. So I wouldn't necessarily maybe get carpal tunnel as much. Which I guess is nice.
had planned a trip to Fon, but then got an infection in your left middle finger, A2 Ploy. Oh, that is not fun at all. Very not good. That's really annoying. I had it f like third try, and then the game said no. But whatever. Okay, good RNG, but we're going to be losing four here, which is okay. It's not the best, not the worst. Oh wow, we actually lost five. Damn. Yeah, no, I've been outdoor climbing twice, and I've, like, I know a decent amount of rope climbing. I've done, uh, like, where the rope's above you, I can, like, climb and belay that. I've climbed where, like, you bring the rope up with you and lead climbing. I've done that once, and that was, uh, yeah, scary, even though I was doing, like, a really easy climb. Have I been climbing for long? Um... Properly for about just over a year and a half now. Like in terms of going weekly, just over a year and a half. But I did used to do it when I was a bit younger. When I was like 11 or 12. I used to go weekly, but then stopped. But yeah, it's like a decent amount of time, but... I'm still not good, you know. What about yourself? the half year as well but very intensely you're going four times a week that's sick though that's really cool i'm guessing that's like proper training as well become a bit of an obsession. It's a nice obsession to have though. It's a fun one. <laughs> Climbing is much healthier. Yeah, that is true. That is true. One scheduled strength training day, yeah. I mean, that is like... That's probably what I need for climbing now. 
like to pull off some of the more difficult moves to get from where I am kind of to the next stage. It's kind of just building up that strength a bit more. What grade do I climb? So normally like V3 to 4s are kind of, they're like solid. I can probably do about 50% of them in most climbing gyms. Uh, I think that translates over to like, I think it's like 6B pluses, 6Cs or something in like font scale or whatever it's called. Yeah. What do you climb then? I'm imagining it's going to be a fair bit higher. sevens or seven a plus that's sick like i want to at some point get to that level definitely but i've uh, i've got a way to go just got to climb more. It's very true. It is very true. Although, like I said, I think I'm at that point where I also need to build up my strength a bit more as well. It's not that I'm, like, categorically weak or anything, but, like, I've got pretty solid technique for the grades I climb. Like, technique's rarely the problem for me to not do a climb. It's usually just not having the strength to do a move. I got new shoes though recently, which is very nice. Uh, I can't remember what they're called. They're whatever the new ones are from. I think it was Scarpa. I can't remember, on, in all honesty. But they're like. They're red and green, and they're very slightly downturned. But I can't remember what they're called. I looked it up, like, a couple days ago as well. But I can't remember what they're called. But they're very nice. Uh-oh. Okay, I got away with that. Uh, no, I don't think it was either of them. Come on, that's got to make it up, surely. There we go. No, I don't think so. I could probably check if we make it to year two and, like, go and grab my bag and then check what they're called. I might have even, like, still have the tab open from when I Googled it. I know they're a pretty new line that have come out. Oh, I should probably focus on the game actually. Might be Drago. I don't think so though.
Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have a look at some point. Gregos are probably the most popular ones. That's fair. The ones you have as well. Nice. Yeah, no, I really needed a new pair of shoes because I was climbing in like basically beginner shoes. Um, and like I'd used them so much that the rubber at the toe had just worn completely. Uh, so much so that it had actually gone through the shoe, and I was getting like holes in my like because I was wearing socks while using those shoes. I was why I got holes in my socks when climbing. Like around that area because the rubber had worn so much. But yeah, they definitely needed the uh, replacement or replacing. Yeah, my toe pretty much popped out. It got to that point. But these ones I have now are a lot better. And it's weird, I just find I also have that much more grip as well, which is very nice. I kind of didn't expect it to make uh, that much difference, but it really does. Yeah. It seems like quite a common thing. No bad RNG again. Ugh, that sucks. Made it work though? Six pairs already? That is mental. I have gone through one. One pair. And that pair have served me well, but it's got to the point where I, I really need really needed new ones. So I got myself new ones. Let's get the CSS this time. This is a much better pace one for. Uh, yes, exactly. That'll do. Yeah, so basically when you're when you use transfiguration, your hitbox obviously shrinks because you're the hitbox size of a like rat or frog. So then when being next to a wall, the get uh your hitbox grows, but the game does not push you out of the wall until you hold a direction. Then when you hold a direction, you'll get pushed out. So I'm actually not pressing any directional inputs when I'm jumping like infinitely up the wall. Which is, I suppose, a bit counterintuitive, but it's very cool. It's the same thing. So in free play, if you switch uh, to any character and then jump onto a wall, release direction, wrong east directional input and switch to fang then fang also clips into the wall and you can do the same thing it's known as fang jumping i believe you can also do it with hagrid as well but hagrid's slow so we don't use hagrid we use fang uh you'd imagine that would be used all over the place but it doesn't even seem to be used too much so 
it is used a decent amount. The thing is, some levels, like, because Transfiguration is an extra spell, once you get past year two in the overworld, uh, into year two in the overworld, you can't use Transfiguration in the overworld. And also, in some levels it's blocked, some levels it isn't. Weirdly. So, like... It would be incredibly useful in a level like... I can't think of a good good example level, but... I dropped out the wrong character. There we go. But yeah, so there's some levels that would be really useful. But just isn't used. Uh, the one inside the tree... No, it is used in... Um, that uh, level because it's used in the first room of that level but um there's a ceiling in that area so even if you do manage to do the skip or even if you do manage to transfigurate in there uh like you'll just bonk on the ceiling but it is used in that area actually to by changing hitbox, you can actually get through an invisible wall. Oh, come on. Don't know why this jump's been really bad for me recently. But whatever. Oh, my PB was actually really close to best split time. That was 1 5. Oh, I had a 1 4. That's cool. I think we might be losing a couple seconds here. Hopefully not too many. Oh, not many at all, actually. Mashing with the wrong character. Hopefully that hasn't dropped in Ron, though I'm pretty sure it has. Oh no, there's a cutscene. Maybe not. Yeah, it did. That's annoying. Lost about a second there, but whatever. Beren's really standing up to Voldemort, yeah. Fair play to him, you know. To be fair, Voldemort's in his ghost state. Like, you'd be able to. You could take him. I mean, Harry does. And Harry's, what, a first year? But he's got the heart of a hero. <laughs> Make it easy for Harry and no one else, you're true. Harry really playing Hogwarts on easy mode, for real. <laughs> this is going to be a similar pace run to last time. But it's through, um... This level at the very least. Or it's through year one at the very least. At least Book Harry acknowledges he has no idea movie Harry is just do the thing even though everyone else says no. That is true. Yo, Chess, thank you for the good luck, good luck. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Chess, are you thinking about going into the um, tournament this month? Great controller. Uh, Lego Movie 2, isn't it? 
Yeah, the uh, T Freshers monthly challenge. That's the one I meant. I've had worse chesses. I've had better. But whatever. Okay, at least the last hit was clean. Cheeky blue stud. After the DRS TFA and finals for school was coming up, fair enough. Wait, why'd you have to DRS TFA? Was there any reason, or are you just like going for records? I mean, obviously that's a reason, but you know what I mean. Yo, hamster. Hello, hello. I think that might have got the skip. Nope, not quite. It was a fast five head, though. Oh, in the castle run. Right. That's really cool. May the 6th. Why not... Does it like start on May the 4th or something? Because I know that's Star Wars Day. Is it then like a three day event or something? Sixth and seventh. Oh, right, so it's not on Star Wars Day. I guess Friday and Saturday makes more sense for availability. Yeah, because of the weekend. Makes sense. Okay, 4018. Uh, IY, not bad. Inactive Star Wars video games are TCS is the most active by a what a mile? Yeah, I guess. I mean like it's difficult with the Star Wars franchise because most of them are obviously triple A games. And it's difficult for them to ever have good speedruns. Gonna lose like uh, we're gonna be pretty much even with latest actually. Oh, we lost 0, 0. 0.0. Sad times. Consistent year ones at the moment, though. Uh, I'm going to go to the toilet real quick. I'll be back. Oh, 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 oh,
I'm back. Losing frames, packs I throw. Oh no, I lost like... To be fair, those resets are actually weird now because... The game stays running. Nope, that was not the sentence I was going for there. The timer restarts... Like, once you close the game. So like, closing the game is what causes the timer to start from the loading screen in those resets which is very weird but it means that like basically it's variance on how quickly the game loads up jealous of how dobby can hit his head against furniture and not get a migraine from it yeah true just have to move wrong and it feels like a migraine exists honestly honestly i know the feeling I do like the way this level has absolutely zero skips to it. And even with zero skips, it is two thirds cutscenes. Because, like, in no cut, a 155, 156 is a good time. In standard, a 558, I think, is CG. So it's, uh, yeah, this, this level is just two thirds cutscenes. Same with 1 1 actually. Yeah, 1 1 is a 158 CG, I think. And a 628 standard CG. Hey, well done, Harry. You are smart. Gotta milk the cutscenes for what they're worth. True. I feel like also a lot goes on in this like level. I mean, admittedly, it starts with a two and a half minute opening cutscene as well, which does help. Thank you, Hagrid. Very cool. Gonna be losing a couple here because Hagrid decided not to hit the one thing that you can actually target on that side. But I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. one basically tells Harry how to defeat the dragon, yet Harry uses a broom for reasons. True. Very true. Admittedly, Harry doesn't have a sword to hand, unfortunately, during the um, during the first task. I mean, he could just Accio sword a Gryffindor, but like, that's too much plot or something. knows transfig also true you just got to do things in the most like showy offy way you know i mean canonically he doesn't actually no i don't know when he learns transfig canonically because obviously we break it in the game like there's no way he should be getting transfig 
I think technically in this game you can get Transfiguration as early as like before 1 2. You can literally just do 1 1 Wingardium Leviosa Transfig. Obviously, we don't do that because in the speedrun it's quicker to get Lumos first or whatever, but I know that is a thing you can do because I've done it. It is painful because it involves a pet double jump, which suck, and you need to move a chair into a position. I should actually, like, show it off one time. Even a human transfiguration spell canonically? No, I think that's just Polyjuice. I think you're right. That it that is just Polyjuice. Yeah, Moody does make Ferret Draco a thing. That is a valid point, actually. Jump on the thing! Yo, Bigsaw, thank you for the good luck. Hope you are doing well. It's almost midnight for you, right? Yeah. McGonagall does threaten to turn Harry or Ron into a watch, but that could be an empty threat quite easily. I doubt it, but it could be. 14 hour thesis writing session? Oh, fun. Forgot you had a deadline today, oh no. GG for getting it done though, fair play. I gotta respect the hustle getting that done. Plus 18 to PB right now, that's fine. Ah, uh, Harry fell down. No, I mean, you didn't have a- you don't have a deadline today though the thing was big to did that guy was having a fun time so we're gonna be behind now because that was pretty bad RNG well the RNG was okay but I didn't deal with it in the right way it's a better way of describing that but we do have some potential time save here My gold is uh, with CSS, which I'm not going to go for. But I still think we can uh, quite comfortably beat a 517, which is latest. two pages done, still got to write two more until the end of the month. So what was the deadline today for then? Is it just for those two pages? Or 
like for that thesis which had like which you had two pages to write up that doesn't make sense but whatever words were attempted there basically just a checkpoint right gotcha it's good that they do that Have to kind of space things out a bit better, I guess. I always get nervous when walking around there because, like, you can't see the arrow until the curtains open. So I'm always like, oh, am I in the right place? Yes, I am. Good. This wasn't clean in the uh, last run. And it's not going to be clean in this run either. Woo. But at least I got that jump. Face that way. Yeah, at least I got one jump cleanly in uh, this run. Is that man that's so bad please just hit Dobby it's not that difficult and I couldn't even get the cutscene skip there yeah this is a really bad room it's very not good but whatever. Thankfully this last room is short, so I don't think we're losing too much, but it's still like an amount. Excuse me. Bruh. That is so scuffed. Like, the mandrake was right next to the... Like, it was there. And the game's like, nah, you're good. You don't actually need the mandrake. I'm very mad. Whatever. We're gonna be in like plus 30 to this. Maybe a bit more. That made no sense. I didn't know. Mandrake really trying to end the run. Yeah, that is ridiculous. 
Oh, I guess we gotta play good. <laughs> Awful. Why does Lego petrified Colin just look concerned? That is a good observation, actually. I hadn't noticed that before. But yeah, you're right. That's true, that is true. I can agree with that. Try the new Charizard strat here, see if it works out. Okay. Overlapping cutscenes, I think. Yeah. See if this saves me any time. Well, the amazing thing about this split is that's losing me time. Like, what went wrong? Was plunger strap slow? It must have been. Or maybe that just doesn't save time. That might be it, because we lost three there. Blame the Mandrake. I will still blame that Mandrake. That Mandrake was awful. Like, to be fair, every time I've done that strat, I've been worried about, like, one time that Mandrake won't cooperate. But th I, was I was walking up against that glass. Like, there was no way where that shouldn't have worked. I've taken it so much more risky so many other times, and it's been fine. Clean. Well, um, there's one thing that'll keep this run alive, and that's getting both CSSs and 2, 3, and 2, 4. If I get that, then, like, this run stays alive. I think I need every CSS. Uh, by that, I mean 2, 3, 2, 4, and... 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 6, and 3, 2. If I get all four of those, then we'll keep the run going beyond 3, 2. If I don't get all of those, then obviously we won't. Simple as that.
Okay, no early drink. Which I didn't get in latest either, so that's fine. Menuing, hello! That was awful. Yeah, we're losing like two here. To just somehow continuously circling around the one option that I wanted. It's a risk of double input menuing, I guess. On this controller, anyway. Yeah, this CSS is a must get. I think my gold has a bit of leeway to it because um, I definitely had a few extra pauses in uh, pages. What a crab and goyle doing eating floating cake outside the girls' bathroom before going in seems sus. I mean. It's Crab and Goyle. That's not me trying to defend their actions, that's just me being like, yeah, it's 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 them. They are a they are characters that exist. And anyway, like outside the girls' bathroom, in the Lego Harry Potter world, that is exactly one door across from the boys' bathroom. So, like, I guess that makes sense. That was clean. Yeah, so we can gold this. <clears throat> if we get it good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we lost point one. No rip run. Am I right? And now we've got to go for Myrtle CSS. Like, we have to hit this, really. To, uh... Stay in contention. We also need not bad RNG. Okay. 
Ah, there we go. It was too good to be true. Two. Okay, and the run stays alive. We also saved eight seconds there, which is pretty neat. We can almost be even with latest. Not. We can actually. We probably still have a fighting chance of being um, even with latest out of two six because two six wasn't clean either. run is hanging on for dear life it really is which is good because this is like my last run of the day so that was very clean how are we versus pb right now yeah plus 18.5 to pb so interesting this is the point where like my PB and my latest actually swap over. So my latest is quicker than my PB now. But I do have 21 seconds of potential time save in this split. Oh. Manchester City beat Bayern Munich. Cool. So yeah, let's hope we uh, we do sure follow these uh, spiders. These here spiders. I'm trying to remember what went so wrong in this split on uh, Matus, and I'm, I think it was just everything. As the diplomatic way of putting it, just everything went wrong. This is, I think, my least favourite level in the run right now, so it makes sense. Clean Lemos jumps, though. Nice slide as well. Go on, give us a god wolf. Ah. to save potentially in the next split as well. Not bad, not bad. Good push. I'm loving the uh, sheer volume of one hits we're dealing with here. All these spiders have been one hit so far. Apart from that one. That was a very clean spider fight. Wowee. So, we're going to be close to gold, I think, with this. We could be saving like a good 15 seconds here, depending on how this car section goes. I'm going to play this car section nice and simple, though. I'm not going to risk it too much. Ok, 
Okay, good. We're gonna have a spiderless uh, first area. Which is very nice. That's exactly what we want. I need to memorize the spider spawns for the second area, but I think they're just like everywhere. Like this one's, yeah, quite central. No, that's exactly what the opposite of what I wanted. Nothing I could do about that either. Like, I tried to switch to the bike, but it wasn't letting me. No way. Yeah, it's just not letting me switch to the bike. Bike's gone too far. There it is. Okay, that's a bit frustrating, but like, it's what, a five, six second time loss? I think we're still going to be ahead of, uh, or saving time even. Yeah, definitely saving time. Five forty-three, and it's not the longest uh, end cutscene in the world, so it's not too bad. Oh yeah, we're not losing too much at all to gold. We would have been very close to gold if we didn't get caught by that spider, to be fair. Honestly. So annoying. But what can you do? It happens. I'd rather the game gets all its bad RNG out this run. And like... Chucks its uh, interesting quirks at me now, rather than when I'm actually on a good pace. I love the fact that they made sure Ron's wand had, has tape on it for this year. Very well done. Okay, good enough cubicle jump. Unfortunately, uh, scabbers went up, but that's fine. Means we lose like two seconds in that movement. It's not too bad. Clean enough first room. We're going to enter at like three minutes, which is fine. A bit over three minutes, which I, th I think that's more than fine.
Oops. I hate this jump. Probably my least favourite jump in the game. I just don't really like the end of year two. Both as a film slash book and also in the Lego game. Good so far. Come on, Harry, hit the snake. There we go. Harry's getting a few hits in, so we should get the only uh, cutscene hit here. The only camera pan, that's the one I'm in. Not as only a camera pan as I would have liked, but it's still fine. Let's get the CSS. Book Ginny would have started juggling, and this is true. Alright, let's get the pause. That might be a one frame. Two frame. Okay, that's fine. Run still alive, it's hanging on. Yeah, that is true. To be fair, I never thought of it as like an ill gross thing. I thought of it as like this the eyes still had some like petrifying power, but I guess that doesn't make sense. Because otherwise she'd be like petrified, but obviously not. Nice. 
Basilisk is still, still alive, so in theory the eyes should hold power. Yeah, see, that's my kind of thinking. But I guess they are disconnected, so... Maybe? I don't know. Ah, there is audio. For a minute I thought there wasn't any audio, but I think that's just... My headphones are almost dead, so... They like cutting out if I hold my head at certain angles. Man, that student should have got out of the way, really. It's a bit rude. Alright, so we've got to get the CSS here. <laughs> this student will be sacrificed to the stairs. Not in this category. We don't have a stair sacrifice in this category. It's fine. We are humane in this category. a few seconds but that's fine so we've got to go at the moment hogwarts is in a glitch state so we've got to go back out of this into this room and back out to unglitch hogwarts so hogwarts gets back into the regular uh, year three state which is why we can then head over this way to get to bugby handling which is a bit scuff the way it works, but uh, it just works. Scuffed or magic? We'll go with magic. Mm -hmm. Definitely not just programming. Magic. It's a very clean bridge warp. <laughs> Let's go get some chicken because, yes. Okay, good enough 1p2, so you were saving a few seconds, and we got the ult tab strat now. So I'm going to ult tab out here, wait until the timer gets to 3. And then frame perfect pause, exit, and enter. And we're going to spawn back in the castle here. Because game... <laughs> I don't know why, just something the game does. I think we then need to go in here. This is my belief that we need to then go in here.
Yeah, so divination. Oh, sorry. 2 6 CSS to, um, like, the intro cutscene for Hog Hogsmeade, or even Hogsmeade itself as well, is now my favourite section in the run. Because it's a lot of cool strats, it's a lot of f uh, fun routing, it's very cool. Hey, see you, Emma, hope you feel better. Hopefully, uh, the migraine goes away pretty soon. And you, uh, can get some good sleep as well. So I'm, uh, I'll see you around. So yeah, if I get the CSS at the end here, uh, at the end of this level, and the rest of this level goes fine, we're going to be in like almost a minute ahead, I think. I think that's how much time the, uh, the CSS saves at the end here. I don't like this position as much, but there's not much I can do. I think it's still fine. Yeah, that's fine. And fall down here, good. We're going to be almost a minute ahead, not quite, if we get the CSS. If we get the CSS. I mean, we'll be more than a minute ahead of PB, which is pretty nice. But we need the CSS. Let's go. So I think we might genuinely be on record pace now, technically with this. say more time if that was actually good but whatever yeah we're a minute ahead of pb with a potential 17 to save here but that's very unlikely because we now go into the rng this launch is very rng um yeah put it this way i lost almost two minutes to this in pb or not pb in latest so we need it to be clean. We like need it to be clean. gonna try I don't know if this is placebo or whether this is a manip but I'm gonna try only turning the v-sync off when I get through this doorway right here we go okay good start No, 
nowhere near enough height at the moment though. Come on, give me some more height game. Is that enough? Oh, not quite. Okay. Okay, well that's definitely enough height. Oh, wrong button. Audio might be a bit loud for a minute. Yo, Charles, I thank you for the good luck, man. I hope you're doing well. This run is okay. I can't see my splits anymore. Which is an interesting feature, apparently, of resetting the defaults in this game. But that might be good for me. Let's go for the CSS here. Oh, really? Cool. <laughs> sort of City v Bayern, UCL game, and it was perfect. Yeah, it's a good result for City. Good 3-0. Never rooted for City harder in your life. Fair. Fair play. Nah, it's a good result for City. Can't argue with it. So the question is, how are we doing versus uh, PB right now? Should be on the PB comparison. Still bitter over that 8-2? Oh, you should be. You should be. Yo, VT. How's it going, my dude? Good to see you. Going something, fair enough, fair enough. Almost fell off again, which would have been very sad. PB'd on the ice wiggle map by one millisecond, yo, GG. I mean, surely there's not much time to improve on that map now. Surely. away from record. Yeah, that's not much at all. Like, come on. It looks so easy. Yeah, no, definitely not. <laughs> Two turns. Eh, I guess.
That was clean. So if we get a clean 3-4, we might be on some kind of pace. I'm honestly not sure, because I can't see the splits. I don't know how much we lost in 3-3. I mean, we definitely lost. Like, definitely. But I have no idea how much. I could probably check on the run. You reckon? You reckon? Yo, Chaos Man, thank you for the good luck, good luck. How is the year uh, four cutscene treating you? Uh, treating you good, that's good to hear. This level destroyed LE. I think that's meant to say PB. Oh man, I thought I had it first tried out. Oh well. Oh, me. Yes. Makes sense. It is certainly one of the most levels in the game. Third try, I guess. Not too bad. PB still easy, but sub 250 probably not. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That is a question right there, VT. It's most certainly a question. No <laughs> Big Mac. Oh yeah, of course. How could I not know that? Poor Snape. Just gets yeeted. Am I not targeting any of these? It's gonna be piano now, watch. Yep. Okay, worst possible RNG for this section. Waffle, 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 waffle. I'm not taking the rest of it. I won't do that to you guys. <laughs> I have fun, Origin. Expelliarmus was described as a disarming spell, not a yeeting spell. I mean, it is a yeeting spell. Like, let's face it. It is the big yeet. Stupefy is the eating spell. No, Stupefy is a stunning spell. You like fall over on the spot. Expelling armor is when you get disarmed in the movies. You get yeeted. Like, you get sent. Properly.
never understood Harry Potter. It's not... I don't think it's that complex to understand. But then, like, I try and make sense of Doctor Who, and that's a lot harder to understand. Just seeing, like, stick fighting and magic. I mean, that is what it is, but, like, also, no. Uh, is my timer still running, by the way? Like, I don't care if I can't see it. Is it still running? Doctor Who is sick, though. This is true. This is true. This is what people need to understand. Doctor Who is very sick. Wait, it's not still running? Is it, like, paused? Pause but green. Okay, um, that's fine. I know how to fix that. I'll fix that on the year four reset. Hmm. Oh, sorry, the year three reset. Basically, what's happened is... Life split... Yeah, did not... Did not split since 3-3, three, three, that's fine. Life split is only visible on OBS. If it's, like, in the top left corner of your screen. Or something weird like that. And when I, like, accidentally reset to defaults in 3.3, 3, it, uh... Like, the resolution changed, caused live split to change position. So it's now hidden behind another program, and it doesn't like that. So, that's all that's happened. I'll, uh, move that back. Once. Uh... Yeah, when I reset, I'll move that back. Hmm. I might have to tank a bit of time on the reset, but that's fine. Pack so clutch. I hope so, man. I mean, like, the thing is, I've achieved what I wanted to do. I've got to run on pace. Like, I mean, big pace as well. This was 54 seconds ahead of PB out of uh, 3-2. Admittedly, 3-3 did not go well. 3-3 three, three is my weak high variant split at the moment. No idea how you discovered Doctor Who. See, I, I discovered it because my dad's a massive fan of it. I didn't watch it at all until a few years back. Pretty young, pretty young guy when you saw that. Yeah, thanks for blessing the run, Shazo. I think the first Doctor Who episode I would have watched would have been the first Matt Smith episode. Uh, with Young Amelia Pond. Which was, yeah. How did the Norwegian kid end up uh, watching British shows? Hey, it happens, it happens. As long as we're not watching Australian shows, it's fine. Because, man, Aussie TV, some of the stuff Bear had shown so scuffed. <laughs> I just do not understand it. Thank you, Charles. Right, the packs of clutch is coming out today. To be fair, I feel like this run is packs of throwing right now. Like, at best, it's packs of pacing, but it's probably um, packs of throwing. You stopped off the Matt Smith? Oh man, some of the Peter Capaldi stuff is just brilliant. And some of it's stupid. But some of it's brilliant. Like, what they managed to do between Christopher Eccleston, David Tennant, 
Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi is can create four different, completely different personalities of Doctors. Which is just really, like, cool. Very cool. David Tennant on top, I'd agree with that. Didn't get the only hit off, also that was bad, but whatever. Actually, not clean, but eh, whatever. Probably lost a couple seconds. The good thing is, though, so far the only CSS that I've gone for and missed is a uh, three, three. I feel like this might be another round that without three, three, I'd PB. But, uh, whatever. It's gonna be like that. Time turn of gold? Question mark. We won't be able to tell. Went from, uh, children's TV to Mortal Kombat and Doctor Who. Yeah, that's quite a leap. Especially for some of the uh, David Tennant Doctor Who, it's not exactly the least creepy stuff in the world. Some of it, anyway. Like, Impossible Planet is actually quite a scary one. Weeping Angels as well, but that was, um... Oh, when did the Weeping Angels first come out? Blink. Blink is such a good episode. It's so well done. The first Weeping Angels, um, Stuff was incredible. The next one's not so much. Like, Village of the Angels is pretty good, but... Not Village of the Angels. What's the other one called? City of the Angels or something. Because, like, I remember my dad talking about that episode, kind of, when it was out. Because, like, I was paying attention to Doctor Who at the time, even though I wasn't watching any of the episodes. And then, in year six, like, after our year six exams, they just put an episode of Doctor Who on. Uh, for us to watch, which is kind of cool. Like, in the exam hall as well, so you just stay in your seat. And just watch an episode of Doctor Who.
You don't want to rewatch some stuff just because you're scared you don't like it anymore. Yeah, that's fair. He's doing the jumping thing. That's very cool. I think it's because I pressed jump and attack just as I got frozen. Can happen and it's a bit weird, but... You Paxo. I am Paxo. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm changing... Like, what happened was I reset to defaults in 3.3 and the resolution meant that live split wasn't in the right place to be picked up by OBS. I accidentally changed the resolution in 3.3. Like, I reset to defaults and then had to unreset to defaults. So, when I alt tab for this thing, what's it called? End of year cutscene, that's the one. Reset, that's the word. There we go, they're back. And it should stay there. Oh, but the splits... No, they haven't frozen. Okay, what's it done? Whoa. Wait, what? We're 24 ahead of PB. Hold up. Hold up. Phone. Hold it. Where did this come from? This is actually recce pace. Um, okay. Quick toilet break. I'll be back. Yeah, we do need to fact check that, absolutely. Um, I'll, uh, well, I mean, first things first, we need to PB here. Like, that's job number one. Then we'll, like, fact check it, whatever, whatever. But, uh, this is about right, because, like, this stream has been... I did one run, which got to 1-4. So that's, like mid 30s RTA and then yeah I think I think it is but like obviously we'll have to verify it etc etc um I mean this is the right amount RTA like the RTA and loadless difference is right for me so that's not a problem I'm worried about And yeah, on the run.gg, you should be able to see the full splits as well.
Okay, a little bit slow here, so we're probably going to be losing a bit of time, but that's fine. My goal is kind of just to match PB now, I guess. Latest is actually my gold here. Oh, interesting. Hey, uh, Okay, clean wrong warp. We actually won't be losing as much time as I thought here if we get the trigger first try. Which is a big if, but I've been relatively consistent at it recently, actually. Nice. Only losing one, that's fine. 23 ahead of gold, not bad. Oh, ahead of PB, not bad. Uh, aging potions, I'm gonna go for the safe aging potion CSS, which loses about 10. But it guarantees that, like, I'll be ahead uh, by dragons. Uh, oh. I don't even think it loses 10, actually, but whatever. Go to the door, alt tab, then tab back in and go through it. No, because um, the moment the save ends, the cutscene starts the next frame. Like even in uh, like without saves. So yeah, that wouldn't work. Huh? At least not as far as I'm aware. That's how I think it works. You can test it if you want, but... Time was there because Harry can't pick up an object. No, wrong one. Okay, we're losing time. No control on lock up. Yeah, so I'm losing a couple seconds here. Like five. It's fine. So we exit, re-enter. Yeah. Okay. 
So it doesn't lose, like, too much, but it loses enough to be... Like, I'm going to be close to PB probably after this, because the dragons I got was also pretty god tier. But that's fine. Because this run is, like, really mid, by the way. This is not a great run. Um, I don't know how I saved so much in year 3. Like, genuinely. No way, it's Harry Potter. That was a bit not smart for me, but it's fine. Mm -mm. Cool, a two minute flat entry. That gives us 231 to complete the level. That's not too unpossible. think. It will still have to be a clean uh, level though. Huh? Actually 231 might be impossible. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, clean first room. Need to get this Lumos jump quick here. Which we do, just. Get the Fang drop in as well, that's really good. Okay, this was a smooth dragons. We're probably losing a bit. I can't remember how long the end cutscene is, but we should be losing a bit. Because we didn't get the quick aging potion CSS. We got the slightly slower one. But I don't know if it'll be much. I think we'll still be ahead. It's like this is the end of the cutscene. I'll take that. You know what? I'll take that. We've got four seconds we can save here as well.
That was clean. That is pushing a gold. That was really good. Not quite a gold though. It's going to be a low 119 though. Very low 119. I'm happy with that. Slow fade out is fine because we're playing IGT. Nice Lumos jump. So allegedly I have 10 seconds to save here. I have no idea how true that is. Also, best possible time. Somehow still a 2.22.11. Oh. Mm. So in theory we can still lose like... Oh. Over a minute and PB compared to gold. Which is... Weird. Oh, we're 17 ahead of record now. That might be worth. Come on, game. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. We're not going to be saving any time here, but I don't think we're losing too much, if any. I guess. Well, we just keep on doing our thing, I guess. See if we get the only interrupt as well. Or the only walk, whatever it is. Quite a precise angle to hold, but if it works, we're good. Okay, we've got the second hit. Sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. I'm not going to pan the camera at all. Hey, we've got it. Nice. Harry maybe walks forward as well? Not quite. Okay. We got one warp though, so that's good. Another? I don't think Harry's going to give us any more warps. It looks like the AI's pretty set on giving him behind. Never mind. I should stop talking. Yeah, this isn't going to be too bad. I've been losing a bit, but yeah, not much. I can't remember how long the cutscene is, but I think it's like more than 19 seconds. Not too much, though. He flies on out of here, flies here, deposits Hermione, picks up the egg, celebrates. Oh no, we're going to be about even with PB. That is fine by me. And still minus 10 on Reki. Ah, uh, so here's, here's the kicker. I have 38 I can save here. Here's a big difference. What did I get in PB? I got a 17 in PB. Oh, in later, sorry. It's not too bad.
managed to get the Hermione drop in, which saves like 0 0.2, 0 0.3 of a second. Because Hermione starts a little bit closer in the last room. Get a 501. Mm. Ah. Pretty nuts. Must have been like a frame perfect pause or something. I think I must have missed uh, 4 4 CSS in PB. Huh? I can't remember exactly, but I think I must have done. To have lost 17 seconds, or not 17, 37 seconds in this uh, thing. I think it must be. Arms are sweaty. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mum spaghetti. And all that. Oof. Doing the standard 1P2C there, not the uh, dumb 1P2C that I know how to do, but it's really tough. Okay, didn't soft lock. It was close, but we didn't soft lock. The nerves are getting there now. The nerves are getting there. But like, I don't really uh, care about this run still. Yo, Origin with the raid. Welcome everybody. We are currently on world record pace with three levels left. Mess that up a bit, but it's fine. You don't care about the run either? Okay, good. How did your run end up? I saw it was a 251 something, but how do you feel it went? Oh yes, Myrtle can get pushed by boxes because she's a ghost. That makes sense. Alright. One shot. One opportunity to seize everything I ever wanted. Can I capture it or will I pack so far? One. Oh, baby. 
Yeah, one was really good. The other year is always one level with big time loss. Oh, fair enough. That's still pretty solid, though. GG, anyway. Sub 250 text time. Yo, text time? Gotta love text time. What is this, a JRPG? Wait, no, that's menuing time, my bad. <laughs> Next time. Okay, made the jump. So, get the cliff out of bounds nice and fine, and then mermaids, please be nice. Even if mermaids aren't nice, we can still, like, be fine. Just came back, yeah. It's a uh, decent run. Well, actually, no it isn't, but it's, like, serviceable. Mermaids are super chill, insta-died, must be nice. I reckon I'm going to get the worst mermaid RNG known to man. Okay. Thanks. I'm not going to question that. seconds gold yo that's pretty nuts fair play show me the logo there we go Yeah, I didn't know this either until I saw Trazo do it. And then I just went, oh, that makes so much sense. I'm so dumb. Okay. Mermaids, please. Guess you use that from now on. Yeah, definitely. Definitely use it. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Fantastic RNG. Let's go. Let's go. This is actually like not going to be too far off for gold. I think it's like plus seven to gold or something, which for this is really good. But yeah, it didn't get warped or anything. That's really, really good. Wow. How am I going to throw this in the? Uh, Last split, that's the question. Come on, Ron, hurry up and faint. Thank you. Oh, a whole minute ahead. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Paxo Clutch is the only option. Oh, no, 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 no. There's two options. There's two options there. Well, actually, there's three options. There's also Origin of Chaos Cursed Dobby as well, which is just where the game crashes. Yeah, 
Yeah, Origin, if my game crashes here, I'm block I'm banning you from raiding me. I'm just saying. Stairs done. Move. Thank you. Ron did not want to move, but whatever. Ah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow, record really got a 413. Last level. Interesting. Not even grabbing the token? Oh no, because like, I'm speedrunning or something. I'm so sorry. This is any percent, not 100%. Spare no token. No. Save no tokens. Tokens will perish. Spare no expense. That's probably what I meant to say. Uh, VT, you've either got a ton of stream delay from Origin stream, or you're like watching the wrong stream. A little bit early. Jinxing it, yeah, exactly. That is a that is a high tier jinx. Gonna be close, yeah. Clean. It's boss fight in time. <laughs> this cutscene takes a while. Oh, all the nervous energy, man. So much nervous energy. This is where I need like a Rubik's Cube or something to distract me, but my Rubik's Cube is up at uni right now. I'm doing the two finger mashing with uh, the attack button to make sure I speed up the mashing that bit more. I don't think we're going to quite be a minute ahead of uh, a minute PB, but it's going to be close actually. Let's go! <laughs> yes! It is done! It is done! We are victorious! <laughs> ah, that feels good. about three months later than I would have wanted it, but we got there and that's a decent sized PP a uh, decent sized record as well. Let's go, another 30 seconds shaved off. The Panxo clutch for once. No Panxo throw. We love to see it.